Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing another flavor from the Nongshung Nabin brand. So today's flavor is... The Veggie Ramen Noodle Soup. I'm going to show you everything up close, the front, the back, the contents. So let's get started. So here it is up close. As you can see, it's the vegetable, veggie table. It's a veggie ramyun noodle soup. Gourmet mild. It is halal certified, no meat. It's made in Korea. Coming at 112 grams. Soon veggie noodles are vegan certified. Yes, there is no meat or any non-vegan ingredient in soon veggie noodle soup. These are the cooking instructions. I will follow these instructions exactly. Now, let's open this and see what treasures await us. Vegetable flakes. Let me show you the vegetable flakes. They've only mentioned dried vegetables. But as you can see, there are carrots, cabbage, spring onions, and choy sum. Soup base powder. The soup base powder is made up of hydrolyzed vegetable protein, which is soy, maltodextrin, maltodextrin, salt, yeast extract, soy sauce, soy vegetables, spices, sugar, wheat, kelp, vegetable oils contain soy, tapioca starch, corn flour, flavor enhancers, two numbers, food acid, one number, emulsifiers, which is soy, thickener, corn syrup, and the noodle cake, all broken. The noodles are made of wheat flour, starches, potato, and wheat, vegetable oil, which contains antioxidant, salt, mineral salts, thickener, soy sauce, green tea extract, and color 101. So everyone, we saw everything up close, so let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me! So everyone, we're here in the second kitchen. So I have 500 ml of bottled water. Our noodles that we're going to cook. The flakes and soup base powder. Pot. Frying pan with a spatula. And there we have the vegetable goodies. So for today's toppings, you can add all your favorite vegetables. So what do we have? We have some chili flakes in sesame oil. That's ghee, desi ghee. We're going to be doing a lot of frying, so I'm going to be using a bit of this. And then we're going to finish it off with butter. There we have some broccoli, bell pepper red, bell pepper green, bell pepper yellow, some carrots, mushroom, peas, corn. Uh, the peas have been boiled, they are cooked. I didn't mention it, I'm sorry about that, but I don't add any extra salt because I use the salted butter. Okay, so let's start cooking. We'll do the toppings first. I'm gonna add the ghee. And at this point, you just add all your vegetables. There goes the sweet corn, peas, mushrooms, carrots, Bell peppers, red, green, yellow, and broccoli. I mean broccoli. So it's kind of like on a uh, more like medium low heat because low heat would be one flame. The butter would have burned. So it's better to use oil. You can use oil, you can use desi ghee, and then you can finish it off with a bit of butter. Okay, while that's happily sizzling away, let's focus on our noodles. Okay, turn this on. So here I have 500 ml of bottled water. So when that comes to a boil, then we're going to add our noodles and then we're going to add our flakes and soup base powder. Summer brings in bountiful harvests of vegetables, so why not eat them before the chill takes over? I used a colorful medley of vegetables to make a succotash, kind of, you know, minus the beans. Now, it is very important to saute the vegetables on high heat to get a nice sear on the exterior and leave it on medium-low heat for that internal smoky flavor. Always use fresh and tender vegetables to get that perfect bite and lovely colors. That has come to a boil. Now we're going to be adding our noodles. Oh, that was messy. Flakes and soup base powder. Make sure you detangle the noodles so that they cook evenly and they don't clump together. So they have mentioned four to five minutes. 
See ya in four to five minutes. Okay, as you can see, everything has kind of softened and browned. So at this point, just gonna make some space in the middle. I don't think we're gonna be using all of the toppings. It's too much. So some space. In, oh no, the muddle, muddle has the butter has melted. There goes the butter, and then a bit of. the chili flakes and sesame oil just infuse the chili flakes with the butter and then let them all come in coat all the vegetables in it and we're done mm. Okay, the timer has set off. Give it a last good mix. And let's plate. Okay, there's our plating station. Mm. So let me show you this without the toppings. Look how the vegetables have rehydrated so well and a good amount for this. You can see a bit of carrots. Ooh, what's that? Cabbage. It smells amazing. So let me try this without my additional toppings. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim It kind of like warms you inside. Ugh, oh, these noodles are perfect. You know what they remind me of? Indomie! Yes! Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Mm, that soup amazing this is the best noodle i've ever tasted if there was no indomie astaghfirullah may that never happen then this brand nongshim can take over like easily with these noodles mm, so good very like kind of on the salty side okay so let me add my toppings. Not all of it because I don't want to crowd it. Where's the broccoli? I love broccoli. So these soon veggie noodle soup. These are 100% vegan ingredients. Now they're here and they are delicious. The savory vegetable broth has its own simple yet rich and hearty flavors that even the meat lovers will enjoy. That is so true. I don't know what they're doing, but the flavoring of the soup-based powder is amazing. I am so rude. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim There you go. Mmm, how is that? You want some soup? Oh, yeah, you gotta try the soup. No, the noodles are absorbing the soup. I want more soup. There you go. Yummy, right? Okay, I've added all my veggies. No more toppings. I've added them all here. This, These noodles are really amazing. I hope you can get a chance to try them. I got these from Daraz. You saw it. You can get it from there easily. So tasty. Thumbs up. Now the delicious flavor of Suwon veggie noodle soup is inspired by their best-selling noodle soup, Shin Ramyun. While Shin Ramyun boasts its hearty flavors made with beef and mushroom, Suwon veggie noodle soup has its own unique flavors made only with vegan ingredients. So expect the same delicious taste but more Suwon, meaning mild in Korean, goodness that can only come from the savory vegetable broth. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch some of our videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!